It, it, it probably will, man, because, uh, okay, now we're going to see if Cousins is the quarterback that, uh, who had him, uh, Shanahan, said he was when he drafted him to try to uh, pressure RG3. You know, so now we're going to see, is he that quarterback? All these excuses that he had the last couple of years, he took my weapons away from me. Um, the line ain't blocking. We're going to see if all this happened now when Minnesota has a good offensive line and they have weapons. Now we're going to see what Mr. Cousins can do under pressure. But that $84 million is like pressure busting motherfucking pipe. You know, he thinks he got the money now. He can just sit back and just, you know, be happy about it. How much is that shit guarantee, RC? Did they say? Because um, $84 million, god damn. They probably at least gave him about $50 million guarantee. But I think that's what his agent was looking for and whatnot. So now the Jets, they sitting back. And I don't see why what the Jets was looking to get him, man, because the Jets need a lot more shit. The Jets got enough money out there. They had more money than anybody to go after free agents, and they letting all these free agents go by, sitting back waiting to see what Cousins going to come there. That's just like LeBron did the Knicks back then when the Knicks cleared out all that room and had all that damn money to get LeBron to come in there for that big time money. And then he went, I'm taking my talents to Miami. That's the same thing Cousins just did to the Jets, but not too much to Cardinals because if the Cardinals got him, it was a bonus because they don't know what the hell they want. Uh, Thorny said, laugh out loud. Nah, Vern, you won't believe how much is guaranteed. How much is guaranteed, uh, Thorny? <laughs> uh, we got a call coming in. Call, what's your name? Where you calling from? What you want to talk about? It's Big Apple Bass Sheep, man. I'm sitting here shaking my damn head listening to your show. Oh, why are you shaking your head? Chief, we already know Cousin sucks. What the hell are you talking about? Now we're going to see this, that, and other. Well, you Cousin's agent? If we didn't suck, Chief, the Reds just went and got rid of his sorry ass. Uh, you said you, they should have been got rid of him? That's what you're saying? No, what I'm saying, Chief, you uh, talking about, now we're going to see Cousins, blah, blah, blah. Chief, we already know he sucks. What is there to wait on? Uh, we well, already got a book on Cousins. Well, we, we got a book on him, but uh, Minnesota must ain't got that book on him because they showed up when I didn't pay for him. And what I'm saying in here, they said 100% of which is unheard. 100% of that money is guaranteed. Hey, Chief, man, we read this book before, man. Every time a team get rid of their don't white quarterback, they always send them to a team that got that don't need them because they already got a black quarterback. We already seen this book before, Chief. Yeah, and yeah, that's what I just said. I said I don't know why they went and got him when they already had Bridgewater, and Bridgewater's still young. And uh, if he was ha if he was still hurt, they wouldn't have cleared him to play last year and whatnot. So uh, he wouldn't have been on the bench. He would have been still in street clothes. So uh, I don't know what's going on. RC said the head coach wanted to still keep Bridgewater. So this got to be uh, ownership just, you know, want to bring it or sell some tickets. That's what I say. They think the man going to come in there and sell well, tickets. We know. Well, we know what it is, uh, Chief. The ESPN said, the media, they still cut it towards the team. They was campaigning for him. They his agent. So we already knew he was going to go to a team that, that don't need him. But, Chief, man, before I get over here, man, I want to talk about your uh, your uh, final four picks. Okay. And the only reason, only reason why you picking Georgia State because that old bootleg sluggo. That's the only <laughs> reason why you picking Georgia no, State. No, no. I, I cheer for him. I cheer for him this year. I like Ron Hunter. Ron Hunter's a good-ass motherfucking coach. Before he came to Georgia State, he was winning uh, at the last school he was at. So, you know, I, I like I like his style of play. Ron Hunter do not have no big time player that came out of high school. He got all probably four star players and he, he created them and built them together. You know. So are you mad? You must be mad because hold on, I, let me see something. Let me see. Let me see where your team at before uh you get off the phone. Because you mad because I didn't pick your team to make it that far. Oh, I see him down here. We already know, Chief, you don't like the damn Tar Heel. We already know you don't like the 
out here, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, so what's your final four? Big Apple, what's your final four? Do you have it written down for me? I I, I asked you that I asked you to do that yesterday. I told you call back up tomorrow and I wanna hear your final four. I I know one of your team I that's got, in the final four. I know North Carolina there. Yeah. I, I got I got I got North Carolina coming out the west. Okay. I got I got the winner of the Arizona Kentucky game coming out the door and um, south. So um, you just so you and, just um, uh, you I, just you just excluding Virginia then, huh? I mean, hey, hey, Virginia a nice team, man, but you know how the tournament is. See, they don't, they don't always go according to chalk. And, you know, the knock on Virginia is Tony Bennett, he, he can't get a team where they need to be. He, oh, okay. He, 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 know, he know how to jump out of the plane, but he don't got no parachute yet. You know okay. what I'm saying? Hey, uh, hey, Chief, man, let's go back to Georgia State. You and okay. I both know Sluggo, he a big-time booster, at Georgia State, right? Right. And we all know the boosters, the one that pay these doing um, coaches' salary. So why you ain't going to Sluggo and telling Sluggo he need to get on the table, sit on the table, and get Ron Hunter a big time contract? When you gonna do that, Chief? When you gonna call Sluggo out? Well, I'm quite sure right now Sluggo hear everything you saying. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, Sluggo may have already did that. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? You just presenting this hey, to us. I told Sluggo three years ago. I told Sluggo three years ago, Chief, and Ron Hunter on the same contract. You you calling Sluggo out. You got your own platform, Chief. You need to call Sluggo out. And I'm going to tell you what the Georgia State boosters out and get Ron Hunter a big-time contract. Hey, man, you better call Sluggo and tell him that you got a big contract for him. Hey, 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 and you know what I'm saying? I'm glad you brought that to my attention about his contract. You know, I wasn't thinking about his contract. I was thinking about how he produced these teams and, and have them playing, you know. So I will I will address that to Sluggo and have him address this to the boosters. And I'm going to call the boosters out because I'm quite sure the boosters are listening. But Mo Cheese is in the house saying that UGA needs to go ahead on and get uh, Ron Hutton and go down there and help that program out down there. You know what you think about that? Georgia State got more people than, than Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if, the, if Georgia going to commit to the basketball program like Georgia State commit to the um, basketball program. You know okay. what I'm saying? So okay. I don't want Ron Hunter going going to Georgia and they ain't going to put money in the program as far as getting, um, paying for assistant coaches and the crews in their scouting budget. I don't know if they're going to do all that because Georgia might have I, I, I can't speak on Georgia like Thorny, but we don't know how much money they commit into the Dawn program for the basketball program. So right, right. Um, hey, hey, K three, K three thousand mad at you. K three thousand mad at you. He said Tony Bennett. Question, question, question. What? Question, question. We just whooped tall ass. He said we just whooped tail and ass and won the ACC and seventeen total wins to do it first time in history in the ACC. And he got his hand on his face like, hmm, question mark, question mark. What day, <laughs> what day you B-A-B? <laughs> well, tell, tell K-3000 to fall back. Tell K-3000 to fall back because we always know Tony Bennett run those boys hard. You know what I'm saying? Tony Bennett run those boys hard, and by tournament time, they don't got no legs left. They don't got no juice left. So we're going to see how much um, the Virginia Cavaliers got in the, got the door tank sheet. Right now, you know what I'm saying, Tony Bennett been wearing those jokers out. They play a hard, full car uh, uh, ball all year. Then when tournament time come on, they don't got no legs. So we're going to see here, hey, Virginia got a big time squad, Chief. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I like that team, but we're going to see, we're gonna see how far they go. I'm telling you right now, Arizona hungry. Arizona, Kentucky, hungry, and you got to sleep on those boys, Chief. And I'll listen to you show up to Air Chief, man. And um, and um, I holler at you, brother. All right, one love. One love, my brother. All yeah, right. that Big Apple bastard up in the house, man. Thank you for the call, Big Apple. Um, you know Big Apple gonna get on me. Anyway, I don't get damn if um, I'm talking some real good shit. He's still gonna call up and find some flaw flaws on me. That's all. But I see um, Tony Mochi saying that the lady dogs. Uh, have a better program, and they do. They always make it into 
uh, the tournament and always doing good in the tournament. Um, when they had the, the coach Andy, whatever his last name was, uh, he uh, he produces some good teams, man. And that's what's up. Max said, um, I'm pulling for Mississippi State to beat UConn. Okay, that's only one game, Matt. What's your final four? I mean, everybody in the chat room, if you look at a bracket and look at your bracket, tell me who you got in the uh, East, West, South, and Midwest. Tell me who you got for this tournament to be in the final four. Because we ain't going to go through round after round like some people do. That shit is boring. But I just went and did my whole bracket, and I said who my final four is, and book it. Bookmark it. That's it, Andy Landers. That's right. He was a hell of a fine coach down there in Georgia. I don't know what he did, boy, to make them girls play like they did, man. They they was they was hell of fine, man. Big ups to that man, whatever he's doing now. Um, uh, Max said, talking woman b-ball, Chief. <laughs> oh, that's what he's doing? Oh, okay. That's what's up. If anybody can do it, he can do it because he was a hell of a fine coach and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, fuck cousins, right? I, I'm just kind of uh, disappointed. And microwave, if you got a chance, man, come on ahead on and call on up. Uh, because I seen you said I said that the Jets cleared the. No, I said the Jets had a lot of salary cap room, uh, but they did get rid of some players that had big contracts. You know, so they've been doing this since last year. They got rid of two players last year with big contract, and they got rid of two this year with big contract. Co contract. So they did clear. You know, the Jets was playing off the ass last year. That's why people were surprised that they won some fucking games. The Jets was supposed to be horrible. They're picking the Jets to win probably two to three games. The fans and the goddamn uh, radio personality and TV personalities wanted the Jets to be in the top three picks this year. You know, so when they started winning games, man, they was like, man, fuck that. Uh, Michael Ray said he got UAV. He got Virginia, Michigan, and Michigan, Virginia, Michigan, Villanova, Michigan State. Okay, that's that sounds like a good fight and four. But uh I don't think um Michigan gonna go that far, uh Microwave. Uh Big L said, uh, yo he said, Yo, how did you con fight the brother that won the championship a few years later? Kevin Alley. Oh uh, yeah, then that's 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 terrible and they still made let me see, did they make the tournament? UConn. I think they in the they in the play in, is they in the play in? Uh, no, UConn ain't make it, did they? I don't think so, but yeah, uh, UConn got rid of Kevin Alley, a player that won the national championship for him as a player and as a coach. How you do that? Uh, Thorny said, Mo, that's what I said. My choice was Ron Hunter or Pretty Ricky Bettino. <laughs> uh, you think Bettino coming back into the basketball? Or did he get the... Uh, Okay, I, I got you, Michael. You think Patino coming back in basketball, or you think that uh, uh, he you know, he gonna get the death penalty? He can't come back. But usually they they don't they don't uh, let coaches like that get the death penalty, man, because uh, could, Patino could be the most crookedest snake in the world. He gonna end up with a job. They probably told him to just um, say lay low, and we'll give you the signal when you can start interviewing for team. Rough Buff said Kevin Alley pissed somebody off. Probably did. He probably told them that he they ain't letting them bring in the players he want to bring in. I think that's his problem right there. Because Kevin Alley Kevin want to expand the recruiting trail. I think the school is still stuck on Calhoun recruiting trail, the places he went. I think Ali wanna, uh, Kevin Alley want to go further out and reach players. And they don't want, I think Connecticut wants certain type of players. But first and foremost, why would you go, come from the Big East and go to the, uh, what is that, the Atlantic Conference that they in? I mean, how, who does that shit, man? That's not even a good conference. How would you do that? You was a dominating powerhouse school in the Big East, playing big time games, and then you're going to take your team to the Atlantic Conference. How the fuck you do that? I don't understand that. Uh, Andre Elam said Final Four would be Tennessee, North Carolina, Purdue, and Kansas with UNC and Kansas, of course.